Oh my god. Oh yeah. The money pit. Y'all are cross eyed. Okay. You did it. <laughs> I found an acre. Are you stealing my pennies? Rocky, no. Use cut sleeper, dude. Rocky approved. Back up, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the seeds. Work with goats, they said. Amateur move. Squeeze is here. What is she doing? Total train wreck. Serial <laughs> killers, man. The water's fine. Uh, what? That's what you want. Your forehead is very big. Wow. <laughs> Incredible difference. This is beautiful. I'll give it 10 out of 10. Let her eat. Nothing to worry about. Oh, you're so cute. Come on back, Marge. Hey. Top secret. <laughs> <laughs> Substantial leak. Grab it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh wow. Any chance of, come on. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Stop, slip. She big ass. I found it. There I love go. it. Get it off. Oh, okay. That's Where's my candy? Like. It's the creepy van. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Flying. Oh, no, no. She's got to be Pentecostal. Real quick before this video starts, I want to wish you guys Merry Christmas. And tomorrow is our 15 year anniversary on YouTube. Can you believe that? We put out our very first video of the Maverick 15 years ago. It's still on the channel. You can search it up. But. Tasha's even making fun of me in the video and everything, so nothing's changed. And we appreciate all you guys' support. I can't believe we're doing this 15 years later as a full-time job. <laughs> that was not even thought of when we started this channel. So appreciate you guys' support. Thanks for watching our channel. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude channel. We're back with our big block 460 van here. We know she's a runner now. We just got to get her to the driving stage. We got us a transmission filter and gasket. We also got a ball of snake oil to put in this thing and see if that fixes it. We bought an alternator as well. But first, we're going to clean it up because it's a nasty mess. If you've watched the other videos, you know it's pretty nasty in here. Not as bad as the F-150 was, but it's pretty bad. Looks like we had a little bit of animal action in here. We're going to get all this stuff out of here. Try to clean it up, pressure wash it. I'm super excited about getting this off of it. I think mm -hmm. it's gonna look so much better. What do you guys think? I agree, yes. I agree. You're already gloved and masked up, aren't you? I'm gloved. Very mm -hmm. nice. This thing sat in a junkyard for like 30 years. It's got a 460 and a C6 in it, but we gotta get this thing cleaned up and see if we can get it driving because these kids are super excited about this van. It's They're just awesome. loving the van. What yeah, is Rocky doing? It. You hear that? He's on the other side, the other trying, side to get trying to get in. Into it. There's no door over there. Rocky. All right, well, let's get to it. What do you say? Woo! I'm gonna give you a walk around here real quick. So this was sitting under a tree, had tree limbs on it and everything. Was that called lichen? Is that what they call it? Yeah, that's what they call it. It's like part of the earth. Part of the earth, okay. Ralphie loves the trailer hitch on this thing. Look, know. it's got like a tractor pin there with no pin over yeah, here. I don't know what it's gonna fit right there because that's not a normal trailer hitch. I don't know what the deal is with that either. But we got root systems here. We got all kinds of pine needles and limbs and everything on it. We just want to get all this stuff out of our way because it's kind of hard to drive when you got stuff like this. We're just naming and claiming that this thing's going to drive, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. You know Ralphie has faith that it's going to drive. Oh, yeah. We don't even have to ask him. But we're going to start with the inside of this thing. I should have known when I saw all the transmission fluid antifreeze that we were going to have a radiator leak and a transmission issue. Yeah. Penelope's already checking it out as well. All right, let's get to it. You heading out of here, Squeeze? Yeah. Where are you going? To the pond. I'm going to check if it's iced over. Let us know about that, okay? We need a detailed report. I found it. There you go. Yeah, it's got a little latch thing at the bottom. Look how far back these things go. This could definitely be very useful. All the space back here. Yeah, Rocky said he could fit all of his concubines in there. That makes sense. I just realized we had carpet in there. Not factory carpet. Hmm. I would assume it had like this rubber floor mat from the factory, but... This thing is top the line though. I mean, rear AC, Pretty it's cool. a custom club wagon. You we know, should take this thing on the trip. Look at that light. Do you see that? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> that is cool. I don't cool. think I've ever seen one exactly like that. Man, that is neat. The Fox Body Mustangs had like a pull down map light thing like that. The crepid looking wasp nest I've seen is like spider web and Oh my gosh, it's, they've been out of there a while. Well, you're probably glad they've been out of there, huh? Thank the good Lord. Let's start throwing things in the trash bag. What is this in here for? What is this? Aluminium? That looks like aluminium if you're from Australia. 
Is it froze? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. This is a tadpole. Tadpole gets ice over a lot more. What are you talking about the tadpole? You know like the tadpole area? Oh. Yeah, this is all insulation and that rubber floor mat stuff. Oh my god. Oh, crunchy there, isn't it? That clutch fork. That's really tiny, isn't it, Ralph? How do you know what that is? This goes on your throw out bearing, and when you push your clutch pedal, it works your clutch back and forth. Oh. Put that in the keep pile. After we get the big chunks out of here, we'll make this leaf blow, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're not trying to do a super detail here. We're just trying to clean it out so we don't catch up some new disease. Look at lug nut. See if you can start that on it, because for this. I know we're short on lug nuts around here. That's like the steering column piece. So it's broke. Wonder how solid the floors are. That almost looks like it's sprayed on there, like bed liner does, you know? You think so? Yeah. I think it's sprayed on. Will this come out without ripping all the pieces? Probably not. Hopefully there's no creatures left in here. We thought with the F-150 they were all gone. They weren't really. No. Look, we got a wiener here? Oh. No. You gotta be older, remember that, don't Exactly. You? Well, there's your hairbrush, man. Yeah. Not for me. Okay. I don't know what this is from because we don't have another seat here. Oh, well, we've already filled up one bag. Here you go, Ralph. There's our breather. We can wash that up. Hey. What is this trash? DMX? Oh, yeah. What in the world? He died, didn't he? I, I think, think, so. I think he died recently. It's gone already. That's the old days there. Parental advisory, I bet. Here you go, we can wash those up too. I wish we had a fourth cap. We don't have four of them though. What's okay. the deal here? Barbie? Hey. Mommy took a connect to me. That's the factory rubber mat. We got some artwork here. It's a face and a wing that's broke. What rip out of there? Or what pour out of here? Oh. Right. Man, your side ripped, mine didn't. Yeah. Rapid power every time. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this. I'm gonna cut it across here, yes. This is like house carpet. Somebody's put it here. Let me get a drill and we'll take this loose. Oh, I love him. You gotta let him dry a little bit? Yeah. This will be in squeezy paintings. Yeah. So you might get one too. Awesome. These screws out of here, maybe we can pull the carpet. There's like one screw in here. Hold us, I think. Shoo! I think I found oh an old gosh. square nail. Is that what's holding it in there? No, I don't know what, what. This was just sitting there. Oh, cool. I don't know what that was out of. That's oh, like the. What's that island? Oak, Oak Island treasure? Oh, that's the money pit. Heavy duty, feel that. Is it key for something? Yeah, we'll keep that. Ow, oh. He just hit it, so. <laughs> I was gonna go like this and. Man, Good job. Mom's definitely been in here. Yep. Diet Coke. Yep. Dead giveaways. Also, dead giveaways right here. Ralphie's been in here. Is this savable? Yes. We gotta save that. <laughs> hey, check that out. Is that 30 30? Yeah. We in Houston 30 30. Thank you. Nice. So, what is this? Mice? Yep. You think? I saw Probably. rat turds in the back. This whole place, every car we got from there had a ton of mice junk in it. This ain't nearly as bad as the Turbo Cooper where the F 150 was. We got ourselves a coat. There you go. Hey, right, check out these acres. Right here. Oh, wait, I know what I'm going to do. I'm so close. Good effort. That's like that game we played, almost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're done. Ten strikes, you're out. Think I can do it? Uh, they both cross-eyed. 
<laughs> Genetics. I can hit a baseball good. I'm doing it next time. This time. Let me do it. Y'all are cross eyed. Here. Hey, squeeze. All right, squeeze got it. Uh, ooh. I don't think I've seen a floor mat ate up that bad before. Hey. Too rotty. Maybe this was their protection. Maybe. Never know. What is this for? Uh, I know it's the inside of a car. Where's Ann? Seat belt? Oh, they bought new seat belts for it, I guess. Oh. What's you wrong? did it. What's you wrong? did it to me. What's wrong? What? You did it. <laughs> Good job, you did it. <laughs> yes, I did it again. Woo! When did you sneak that one in? When you went to get something and you said put that trash bag on this side of the van. Because mm -hmm. oh. it was in there in the, was it the trash bags? I was like, yes. I um, never scare you. All the time. Is that a little key, Wall? What is that? Is that like your diary key? You know? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I do know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. Mom, that is. this is going to be a dinger. Would Ready? you quit dinging? I can't do nothing on camera. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I'm not videoing. Okay. Oh, we got it. <laughs> There's our rear view mirror. I think that's all the big stuff, really, don't you guys? Yeah. Somebody was living in here at one point. Yeah, I don't know why all these A lot of are, coat hangers. A lot of drinks and coat hangers and stuff. Well, I guess let's blow it out with a leaf blower. Come on. Work with me. Come on. Why can't I ever start You got the start? button on? Oh, sorry. I was gonna keep this other carpet in here, but it's just like really poorly installed though. I can't get these screws out, so I'm just gonna cut it along the edge and pull it out for now. I got covered in junk. You did. I should have had my hood on the beginning. See, these sleeper dude hoodies protect you from any sort of bacteria or anything like that. You can get them at thesleeperdude.com, right? Yeah. Cover your fire rush today. Guys, you have been asking for this for years, and the time has come for the big reveal. We've got a rocking Bam. shirt now. Can you believe it? Look at that. Got the Econoline pickup truck on there and Rocky in the back of it. Head upholstery eater. The GOAT. Greatest of all time, Rocky. I mean, there's never been a better shirt ever created. So, go check it out at thesleeperdude.com. We appreciate your support. Ah. Get out of there. Here. You got any wheat pennies in there or something? 1978. That ain't no wheat penny. Hey, don't grab that penny. Pretty sure my grandma had that carpet. She had the same carpet. Pretty sure. I think I had one or two that had it too. Gotta make some more pennies. More pennies? No. Nah. Penny? I found an acorn. 1996. That was a good year. <laughs> what happened in that year? I don't know. The Bulls won a championship. Here. I'm going to keep on until we find a wheat penny. All right, there's a nickel. Hold on, wait, let me see. Are you stealing my pennies? Is that a socket? Yeah. You cannot tell. All right. I can read real. No, I can't. We got some fiberglass rust repair. Oh, okay. so that's fiberglass they put on top of this right here. All this rubber mat stuff is just 
hard as rock now. It still has floors for the most part. I wonder why they put the carpet in it. They didn't even take the seats out to put the carpet in it. We got quite a bit of rust powder in here. Yeah. Granny. Rocky, no. Here, here, here. No, here. Look, corn cob. Like, nope, interior. Man, the signs in here are incredible. Look at that army man arm I found. I got a bunch more pennies. I don't know how old they are. Pen and a pencil. A little army man arm. It's oh, a yeah. short arm, isn't it? Yeah, Joe. They were an XL forty-two forty-four. Oh, okay. nice. He in the car. Not the army man arm. Oh no. Give me that. Why do you only want to eat things you're not allowed to eat? Except for animal crackers, right? <laughs> door panels with Sweep Tina all-purpose cleaner. Go to SweepTina.com use code SLEEPERDUDE and you'll get 5% off. Rocky approved. Squeezy just took over. I'm just going to let her do all my Yeah, spray it. Spray everything besides the metal, really. So our floors, we got some rust here and there, but obviously it's good enough for a goat to stand in, so we're good. Mom keeps saying that Rocky's going to want me to put this in the field and let him live yeah. in it. Yeah. <laughs> this could be his other barn. I guess it depends on how this transmission situation turns out on what fate this van gets. Alright. Back up, Granny. Yeah, Granny, what are you doing? I'm going to get some glass cleaner up here. Like I said, we're not really trying to super duper detail this thing. We're just wanting to... <laughs> Granny, you done? <laughs> <laughs> Granny don't like it at all. <laughs> Go on. We're just trying to clean it up enough where it's, you know, safe to get in and out of and not getting us all nasty. Oh. It, those are always the best. The arm rest, yeah. yeah. You're coming off now? Yeah. Always counting Rocky to get the seat. Don't eat the seat. You're going to mess it up. He likes to eat the seeds. Ooh. Don't eat those. Like Rocky's trying to eat the floor mat as quick as he can. No, Rocky. We don't eat that. It's bad for Rocky. It's got some nice window tint on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crunchy. <I'm about> <laughs> yeah. Some of that might pull off, Mom. Go for it. You like to pick that stuff. Oh, wow. You got your mouth it down. Oh, yeah, nice. Granny's cleaning up for us. Grand. Why is she always going for the paper know. towels? We're going to have to run y'all off. Look at that. It's got armrests back here. It's what it have four rows of seats? I guess. I don't know. I don't know how many seats I had. I wish they were still here. I like my rows of seats. <coughs> oh, this is all metal. That's cool. Yeah. I have to get her that armrest. We're going to have to let the kids watch like Ernest goes to camp or something. Right, yeah. Like, Granny's getting in the van over here. What's she doing? Eat, eat. Oh, she got the roll of paper towels. Granny, no, no. Why does she like paper towels? I don't know. Is that tasty, Granny? She loves drinking? them. Loves her paper towels. I should have blown this off the windshield. I guess I'll do it in a minute. I gotta do the windshield and the roof. Quit, Granny. Work with goats, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Exactly. Yeah, donkey shot. Oh. Oh, nice.
Watch out, one. That seat bottom is nasty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, those brushes on the drill get in those cracks, yeah. don't they? They help out a lot. I haven't used them in a while. Look, there's a band-aid that was there. <laughs> Ew. Well, this seat's looking better. That dash is so weird. It goes like straight down. Mm -hmm. You know, usually dashes aren't straight down like that. If you drop something down there, you'd never find it again. I think that's metal. I don't know. Amateur move. <laughs> I need to vacuum some of these spotty webs out of the top, don't I? Yeah. I always start at the bottom, and I really should start at the top. Don't get oh, she's dirty. <laughs> that's fine. I'll get it. It's fine. <laughs> Them. I still got my pinch dirty. That's coming clean, isn't it? Never fear. Squeeze is here. Clean up nice. It oh, did clean up really rather good. nicely, didn't it? Yeah. It uh. Door panels too. Yeah, good. door panels look nice. Yeah. Got our cup holder firmly installed over there. Not bad at all, really. Worst part about it is the floor, really. All right, well let's start on the outside of this thing. I guess that's gonna start with the leaf blower too, huh? I think so. Like just feet down, swerving. What is she doing? We don't She's even know what's going on. I think so. Hey, back it up, girl. Back up. We're working here. Total train wreck. I got to get on that roof now, I guess. I reckon you do. I hope we can pop that again. The cow looks nice. It does have a roof rack. The roof rack's only like the last three feet though. She's fat. It won't come off there easy. I wonder if they put this roof rack on it with that factory. It's got roots all in it. Here. <laughs> they hanging on. Hey, talk about sweet patina. Look at this patina up here. And just think of all the wonderful family trips this thing probably took. It may have been a one man van. It could have been a serial killer's van. That's another option. Yeah, that's Can I get up there and look? <laughs> sure, come on up. The water's fine. Be careful on my roof oh. now. Oh. Why'd you turn the camera on? <laughs> I said I was coming down. You there might be stuff or video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going for you. Okay. Ah, what? <laughs> I was not prepared. You see all that fading? That's what you want. See all that good? That's what you want right there. Do you think that's a factory roof rack? Right? Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Let us know in the comments. Who would put screws in their roof? I'm looking at, hey, hey. Wait, where are you at? 15. 15 eggs in. The distance between your eyes and your mouth is very short. <laughs> thank you, thank but your you. forehead is very big. <laughs> you ready, Ralph? Yeah. Are you starting from the top or starting from the bottom? There's a lot of debate in the comments about this, okay? Bottom. Normally, we wash a car from the top down like a normal person. When you wash from the top down, all this kind of gets washed away, so it makes a better video if you start from the bottom up. That's why we do it.
Just holds. Yeah. Yeah, Squeeze one to try it here for a minute. This side is going to be really impressive. This side had a lot more mold and junk on it, so I'm I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Wall was like, I want to do this side. She didn't want to do the other side, of course. Yeah, yeah, we'll split it up. Wow. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Making a big difference. I knew it would look so much better. What is that help? Crazy the difference it's making, isn't it? I know. Wow, that looks good. White cars like this are the best to do this. I love it. I feel like I'm going on like a church trip in this thing, I you know? I think we've been on one like this before. <laughs> yeah.
Marge is just going the extra mile. She's trying to get out from under all the trim. Roof didn't pressure wash up too good. It didn't come as wide as the size, but we'll get some bleach on it in a minute and see what that does. Put some get going on here. Try to get all this mud junk off of here. I hate some dirty cases. I mean, you gotta clean your Safari CSRs, don't you? I see it, we're bobbling. Keep leaking. She's a big girl to pressure wash. That's a lot, wasn't it? Incredible difference though, incredible. Impeccable, some might say. Yeah, some might say that. I don't know why the roof didn't clean up like this. I think the roof may have used to have been red because it looked like they painted this off. I could be totally wrong, but maybe the top's a different color paint. It mean, really it probably has some layers of the sap more so than the rest. Right. Our window here's a little out of track. Looks really good. Look at this, look at this soft white here, man. That's so nice. Well, give our ratings. Oh, you're going to rate it? Yeah. I'm going to give this. This is beautiful. I'll give it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? What? What in the this world? Is this is a 10? What? Yeah, it's 10. You give my cars like twos. Yeah, this one's 10 though. Wow. Okay. I really like it, but it is a creepy man van, so I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it 7 because of rust issues. Okay. Rust issues. <laughs> I mean, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Well, let's hit it with some bleach here. Try to get some of this moldy junk off here that the pressure washer didn't get. You're not allowed to have the bleach. Remember, Ralph, you can't have bleach. Maybe we can whiten it up a little bit more before we start on the mechanical issues. Don't get that in your hair, Marge. You'll be platinum again. Yeah, see, like this right here, yeah. that's what the bleach helps. Right, we got our Dawn soap in there because this is a rough old paint job. Hopefully, this will take some of that mess off there. You know why I use Dawn? Why? Because it's good for baby ducks. That's facts. This is a good time to have three kids, you know, when you're trying exactly. to Exactly. Should have had six up. kids. <laughs> Some nasty stuff. Even after you pressure wash it, it's still nasty. Hey, sorry, what are you guys, doing? sorry. Stop. Sorry. Accident. Look at this, this is roots. Yeah. How do they grab onto the paint like that? It's incredible. It's like a trail. I know, you can see it go right up the Climbed it, didn't it? Do I need to double it? If you see anything that looks really bad, you can go over it again. Look at this. This thing's a beaut. You're missing right over here. I'm getting there. I'll get there. Sorry, sir. Dry. She shot like a jewel on a ghost butt. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. Beautiful. Let her eat. Well, she's cleaned up pretty good, hasn't she? Yeah. Yep. I just can't wait to take y'all to school in this thing. You I know? Have fun. No, shouldn't do that. Just think of all the cool field trips this thing went on, you know? Yeah. Well, she cleaned up pretty good. I think this is all we're going to do to it. I know she's got the stubby antenna mod. Very nice. They probably paid eight bucks for that at Pet Boys back in the day. I kind of do like this front end with the round headlights. Yeah. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not a bad looking van. So before this body style, I believe they were all unibody construction up until these. These were like the first body on frame. So this shares the frame design of the F-Series pickup trucks. And F-250 and this are very similar. What do you got there, a belt? I the belt just slipped off. It broke. No, it broke, yeah. It's just the air conditioning belt, though. Nothing to worry about. Mom and Wall had to go get Mom's new little baby because it's time to feed it. It's very cute. Don't let the cuteness fool you, though. She may be the most ornery, vicious killer you've ever seen. Here she comes now. So this is Maple, and she's, what, seven weeks old? Yeah. 
So her mama couldn't raise her. And she was the only one that survived out of the litter. And our friends raised her. They wanted to give her away because they didn't want to raise her anymore. So, of course, mom said yes. So we have been raising little maple in the house. She may not show it in this video. She gets hangry. She gets super hangry. Yes. She will try to bite you and everything else. She is way more ornery than Vanya was at this age. She needs some anger, right? <laughs> I don't know what her deal is, but she will try to bite you and everything. How much does she drink? All you'll give her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a pig, don't she? Yeah. Eventually, when she gets big enough, she'll probably be out in the field with Vanya if she doesn't kill us all in her sleep before then. Yeah, that's going to be questionable. <laughs> you got milk mouth now. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. She's a good pig. Here's that tongue. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Come on back, Marge. That's probably good. So we got our snatch block in the building, a ratchet strap strapped to one of the big, huge poles in the shop. So I was gonna put anchor points in this thing and the builders were like, oh, you got poles, just wrap it around that pole. You can pull it in there with that. This is going to be the first time I've ever done it because this van is too heavy to push that we couldn't even push it out of here. Is it long enough? Yeah. I did put a new end on my cable here. Thank you to the person that sent it in the fan mail. Okay, let's reel her in some. Perfect. Never you couldn't even put you down. I thought about mounting and we permanently against that wall, you know? Yeah. Turn it to the left a little bit. That's pretty good, huh? It worked perfectly. It'd be nice to finish this thing up tonight, but we actually got some church stuff going on, so. What are you doing? Gingerbread houses? Is that what it is? That is yeah. what it is. So we're going to get back on this tomorrow. You build them, then you eat them. That's all you do. Have fun. Oh, Lord. Show them how sweet you are. They didn't see you earlier. See this? Oh, I'm telling you, this is the meanest little pig I've ever seen. She's so mean. What? Oh, I'm just trying to pet you. Look at her. Oh. Maple, you're supposed to be sweet. <laughs> She'll grab my pants a lot of times. Oh, yep, there she goes. Oh, 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 why is she so mean to me? I knew you was sweet. Look at you. You want people to see you act like this? You always shame yourself. Oh, gosh, it hurts. She got teeth, too. Yeah, she got teeth. Be sweet. <laughs> Meanest little baby I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Meanest little cuss. Oh. Yeah, back and forth. It's actually been a couple days. Life is crazy, hectic around here. Let's get our alternator on there. See Ooh. if we can get this thing charging and pull it with the transmission. It looks so much nicer. Look, now it's dried off. Look how nice that thing was. Beautiful. What we got here, Ralphie? The largest alternator known to man? It's actually lighter than I thought. Somebody had stole the alternator off of it. We just bought a new one for a 78. E250 with a 460 and hopefully it bolts right up. Squeeze is working on a top secret drawing over here. It's for a family member, so we can't show it on here because they'll see it before they actually get it. Well, here's our air conditioning belt that broke when we got it running in the last video. Ooh, oh man. I didn't buy an alternator belt because it still had a belt on it. I guess maybe that slung around and that's what knocked this guy off. So now we're gonna have to come up with a belt. Ralphie, Wall, do you wanna go find the belt upstairs? Uh, yeah, sure. There should be a whole box of belts up there. You gonna take this belt with you? That might help, that might help. Give me something to go off of. I think this bolt that we thought was a head bolt in the last video is hopefully our alternator bolt. It's looking like it for sure. You can see it's had a water pump put on it because this got a bunch of uh, RTV on it. Same thing with our oil pan there. Somebody's definitely done some maintenance to it. I don't know why they took the alternator off. I'm hoping that maybe they took the alternator off. Maybe that's why they stopped driving it. Maybe the alternator went out, but I'm just hoping it's a bunch of junk in the bottom of the pan on the transmission. I think it's got a dirt dollar test in there. Yeah, I'm threading it through the dirt dollar's nest. 
Why are you putting it in there? I'm trying to clean the threads out. Oh. Who needs a tap when you got a bolt, right? This thing saves me so much time over like a hand ratchet, you know? That's a good little tool in it. Oh man, I love it. Our plug's all corroded up too from being sitting out in the weather all these years and trying to clean all that out. Looks like it has the same style connections on it. So if I can weasel this thing in here, come on. Good thing I bench press a lot. <laughs> what are you laughing about, honey? <laughs> Something funny about that. <laughs> There's barely enough room to get in there. Aren't they usually like at the top? Yeah, a lot of times they are. I don't know much about that van life, though. I didn't grow up a gypsy like you. Mm. We had vans, that's for sure. Any luck? I mean, these are kind of close. Oh, I saw you throw it out of there and call her good. This one's it. I mean, just look. Look at that. Yeah, I it's see it. Like I'm tighten this thing up under here plug it in it's only got two connections on it this is like a ground tab i don't see any factory ground strap though but it is good to ground your alternator case with a ground wire plug in there we go those wires have been chewed on i don't like that i may need to tape them or something huh the only thing that's weird is so far see this space between the alternator and this adjuster something's off there so i guess i'm gonna have to put some washers in between it it's funny the way this works the belt for the alternator only goes from this big crank pulley to that. It does usually, you know, they go around the water pump and back. This one doesn't. It's a really small belt. All right. So the belt that was on it was a 7370. This is a 7360 and it fits perfect. So just gotta get my spacer in here. Awesome, Walt. What do you think the washer count's gonna be on this one? Ralph in the spacer here. Six. Six washers is the right number? Yeah. I don't know why it's not, you know, just the right length. We ordered it for this van. That's five. I don't know. I think it might be five, Ralph. Oh, darn it. Uh, I think you're a one off. Thank you. I guess if you count the washer on the outside, Ralph, he was right. There's six in here. See? That should be perfect. We'll just tie this down. I need a pry bar, please, so I can push on this. Okay. I'll take the blue in. Oh, okay. This is the blue. This is the blue. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's even worse because it looks crusty on the end. It's yeah, getting it rusty on the end, actually. No, Ew. Yeah. <laughs> we need to check our timing, too, because this thing sounded like it was running great, but it didn't want to start. It kept popping through the intake, which could mean a couple things. You know, it may not be ignition time, maybe other problems. But it seemed to run just fine once it was going. So we jacked the van up a little bit. We can get some space. We're going to get underneath there now and get our transmission pan off, change our filter. Right, Ralphie? <laughs> so this is a c6 automatic which is a very strong transmission somebody's been in there before with that inspection plate we saw in the last video but one thing that really stinks is this right here is like hidden underneath this lip we got a little bit of gunk on here we're going to scrape off to get to our bolts good i hope i can get like a quarter inch drive socket behind that rail right there that's just a stupid design it looks like that on the ground one was it yeah I got it. I went really fast with one of these transmissions. I had a basically stock C6 for the most part in my Maverick and it went sixes for years. I did break an input shaft once. I always go with like whatever the beefiest version from the factory. So like I've always went with like C6 instead of C4 or Turbo 400 instead of Turbo 350, 4L80 instead of 4L60. It's always a good idea to do that. I see a lot of guys try to build the smaller stuff and not that it's not impossible, but you put so much money into them when the beefier version is already beefy. I think they've tied this to something. Oh, good deal. What is that? Like a string? Yeah. You might not want to pull that string. It. Yeah, it's definitely tied that. Uh, we don't want to start a new problem. So we're gonna try to take this end down, I think. We kind of struggled with this last time. Ooh, see how loose that was? It didn't even clickety clack before it took it loose. Watch, see if it's a, look at that. That what is the heck? really loose. That may be our leak. We got a substantial leak. While it sat here like overnight, dripped out like a quart on the ground. Yeah, at some point this is gonna be a waterfall is what's gonna happen. Yeah, I've experienced that before. You did? Was that the grim one, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, get it, Ralphie. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, that happened all at once. Oh! Oh, man. Yeah, it didn't leak all out, did it? Man, I thought I had it and I still didn't have it. 
Yeah. You're about to get your elbow in it. <sighs> I didn't even pry on it. It just popped all at once. Well, the fluid looks nice and red. Probably because we just put a ton of fluid in it. Probably. But see, we didn't know if we're over full or not. We may have been way over full. There's no dipstick on it. So we're just gonna put back in it what it should have and that way we know at least we have the right amount. I'm hoping to find a bunch of junk in the bottom of this pan and filter and maybe that's what's up with this, why it's not pulling correctly. I think I can get in here, but why are they overhung that so far? Oh, in the pan. Great. <laughs> not funny, Wall. Not it's even hilarious. Real funny. <laughs> I should have had you get under here and get it. I think there's one more over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah try to get in the pan. That. Ooh, hot. Grab it with two hands. Ready? Try to dump it into the pan. Like that. Oh, wow. That's a lot of fluid. I got it, Ralph, I think. Are you sure? Yeah, I got it. I got it, yeah. That's a lot of fluid. I don't see much junk. Ooh, we got parts in the pan. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> we got some parts in here. Oh, what Look, in you see the, the pieces in there? Oh, oh there's a bolt, I think. Well, let's uh, get this out and see what this is. Something's broke, I think. Look, is this the other half of whatever this is? Oh, what is no. that? It looks like a washer. Okay, that's enough. Is there anything chance. hanging off your side? I don't see anything. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what is What's this? That? What is this little dude, huh? Is he a pump? Is that a pumper? Filter? Is there a pumper in the transmission? I I'm not sure what that does. What in the world? And oh, then, this ain't good. This? Hold this, Ralph. It's like a little on? clutch or something, here, ain't it? Here, hold that. That looks it's too little, small to be a clutch. It's a little bit of glitter. That might be like a washer to get your, like, in play correct i don't know but there's like grooves in it so huh do you think it would work at all i don't know Ooh. but it's very gray wait did you see these these things right here what's that i don't know what that is oh that's a check ball we got a check ball in there that's weird why would a check ball be in the bottom of it just like look at that clump ooh, ooh. how ooh. gray it is that's awful we usually put a magnet in the bottom of the pan to catch metal as it goes through so it doesn't recirculate through it. It's got a lot of metal in it. Okay, so the check ball worries me for sure. This guy worries me and so does this guy. I don't know exactly what job that has because I'm not a pro transmission builder, but we'll get our books out and see what job this guy right here does. Check balls are usually always in the valve body. How would that have even got out? Uh, <laughs> do you think it would work? We're gonna find out, but we need to figure out especially where this guy went. Maybe we can him back in there, you know? Was the filter dirty? Well, I could tell the filter didn't look dirty. When we were trying to drive it, it was like, the way it felt to me was it wasn't getting enough fluid pressure. Like you put it in gear and it would try to pull, but like every gear, you know, usually if your transmission goes out, like you'll lose overdrive first or something, mm -hmm. you know? You'll lose like one gear. Well, it was like nothing. So that makes me think like the front pump's not working right. We got low line pressure, something like that. But we did buy a bottle of that no slip though. So I don't know if no slip, fix this but if you can no slip and put that little guy back where he goes easy this is the only guy we might be able to put back where he goes i don't think this is going to happen because all that stuff gets stacked in there mm -hmm. from the bottom so you'd have to pull the transmission probably to reinstall anything like this yeah it looks like glitter glitter doesn't it yeah it's a lot of glitter which you're gonna have some the fact that we don't see big metal chunks is a good sign that's definitely the first time i ever dropped a pan that had hard parts in the bottom of it I mean, I've seen like, you know, glitter and chunks of metal. I don't think I've ever took one apart and had just pieces of the transmission That's laying crazy. in there. What was that guy? Another piece of what looks like maybe friction material off a clutch. Why don't you guys clean that out? Wipe all that out of there. I'll do some research about what this guy does. That metal paste in the bottom of it, ain't it? What's puzzling me is I see nowhere in this transmission that this would fit. <laughs> There's no like open holes anywhere. So where in the world did that guy go?
tried to look it up in our books. I couldn't find anything. I looked it up online. And I don't see this in the breakdowns I found online. I don't see it in like a transmission rebuild kit you can buy. So that's really weird. I wish you wouldn't have made such a darn mess in here, oh, honey. Oh my goodness. You have I'm just... gonna have to go to Dodge Intro and get some old dry. I know. Oh, my string's in it. I'm gonna get out. Get it cleaned up. Yeah, yeah pretty much. But she looking nice. new. I got my elbow soaked. Oh my goodness. Brand new sleeper dude hoodie. Oh. Can you believe that? It's a hot mess. One time I was pulling a transmission out of a Mustang, back when I worked at this Mustang shop. I got it all in my hair, all down my back, all in my hair. Ugh. Good thing it's a sleeper dude hoodie because nice these can't got. be ruined. That's right. You better be checking out our new shirts too Woo! on the website, huh? Looking good. Yeah, I love the new Rocky shirts. Yeah, that gasket all broke to pieces, wasn't it? Yeah. That may have been a lot of our leak right there. Maybe. You guys cleaned it up good, though. Mm -hmm. Like a brand new penny. Hey, man. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, I got a van here that we dropped the pan, and it's <laughs> got pieces all in it. Yeah, that little plastic at uh, Ford uh, puts that in the case. Um, that means the pan ain't never been off of it. So on the assembly line, they plug them. And then when they shove the uh, filler tube down in there, that just pops down into the pan and floats. And that other thing there, that looks like the washer between the direct drum and the pump. <laughs> it's coming half, looks like. Does that make sense with that washer being gone that it would do that? Uh, yeah, and I'm looking at that fluid. You know, you got that water in there and it's turned into a, a milkshake. You know? Yeah. The drums have been walking, sliding back and forth. Yeah. And it's probably ate up the ceiling rings on the pump. Do you think there's any chance of this thing driving at all with that thing broken? Yeah, I mean, it is a C6. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you could just clean her up and uh, put some new fluid in it. Are you trying to do a trip with it? Or? No, no, no. This is just, we're just trying to get it where we can drive it around here. Go ahead and clean that pan up, put some new fluid in it. And uh, Lucas actually makes a little bit of stuff that's pretty good, you know, uh, a conditioner. Well, I appreciate your help. And, uh, Clean her up and uh, try it. All right, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, Dale. I knew you'd be the one that would know the answer to that one. So he said that was a washer that goes between your pump and your drum. And I guess it sets the spacing on that, which is what I thought it would. It didn't look like friction material. It looked like hard plastic. And he said that plug, they put it in the where the, I guess the dipstick goes into the transmission. They plug it there so no dirt gets in there. And then when they put the dipstick in, it pops that plug down into the pan and it just stays in there. That's because crazy. that means the pan's probably never been off. Well, that's not really what I expected. I didn't expect that either. He said it may still work. He was actually talking about the Lucas stuff is good for it. So we're going to put the Lucas in there. We actually have a new filter and gasket. I didn't realize we had one when we filmed our last video, but it was actually sent to us in the fan mail. So we're going to put a new filter on it, new gasket. He said it still may go like that. He asked if I was going to take any road trips. I was like, not yet. So... We'll see. If it does work, you probably wouldn't want to take it on a long trip. As well. Yeah, just around said. the yard, huh? But big thank you to Dale from Curtis Mobile Drive Line in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Check him out if you're in the area. He's a good guy. I thought this kit was for a C4 from memory, or I would have probably tried this in the last video. And we started looking through it. We're like, oh, no, that's for a C6. So thank you to whoever sent that to fan mail probably a year ago. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> away from me. Like Fishing for bolts. Yeah. I think I dropped two in there, Ralphie. Some man, not naming any names. Here, grab what? this. At least this gasket comes off easy. Did yours come off easy on the pan, Ralphie? Uh, yeah, it was decently. It's like so old and brittle, it kind of just flaked off there. Yeah, yeah it's it's an old cork gasket. I'm dropping our filter out of here now. Trying to make sure I don't mix up any bolts here. Hopefully they're all the same length. We need to buy a stock in some company that sells oil dry, apparently. Marge gonna keep making these messes. Marge gets stressed out with these messes. Well, that one bolt was a different length. Yeah, so two of these are quite a bit bigger. They're actually a 3 8 instead of a 5 16 are you the same length as the other one? Do you know where they go? Figure it out, honey. Don't worry oh. about that. So this is the filter. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. <sighs> Probably should have had the drain pan in place. Huh? I'm going to wring your neck. I definitely see some metal in the filter there. Oh, look. Behind there. See that? 
Alright, are you gonna come out? Behind the screen, you see all that oh, aluminum flakes wow. and stuff? Like, get it, can you do get we it need this there? part or do we have a new one? We have a new one. Can we just cut that right out? Look, oh, see how I'm falling in there? Oh, now it's coming out. All oh, them aluminum chunks. It definitely was not gunked up the way the NASCAR Galaxy transmission was. Do you remember how nasty that was? It's been a minute. I'm sorry. I don't remember. I've never seen a transmission so full of gunk. But it worked perfect after we cleaned it out. What do you think the chances are it's oh, going to actually man. work? I feel more negative on this one. If it works, it's going to be because of like the fluid being the right level and maybe the additive, you know? Yeah. The filter didn't really look that stopped up. The pan wasn't that gunked up. So my hopes are low. <laughs> But I guess they always are with me, huh? Yeah. He's literally always so negative. Well, do yeah, you think it's gonna, always low, like, Do you think it's gonna work? Like, remember the Metro Mot? He said he it would never start. I know. He wasn't even gonna buy it. And it's well, like one of my favorite. I don't know if it's gonna work, honestly. I think it's a percent chance it's gonna work. I think work. there's about like a 40. 75 percent chance of working. I always like to tighten stuff like this by hand. You don't want to break anything with the impact, you know? Always better to tighten that junk by hand. All right, I guess let's throw this pan on here and put some fluid in it. We want to keep it lined up. We got to go up under that kind of. Try to keep your holes lined up. We're not lined up at all. We're not lined up at all. You watch your side. Mine's perfectly lined up. Well, mine's nowhere to be found. Like, I you can't even find here. the gas? No, there's just not even over here. Oh, wait, it's over here. It's fine. You got your side held? Sure. So let's try to bolt through it first. And then do it. Think that's going to work? Sure. Surely? Surely. It will, for sure. See, if that thing broke a long time ago, and it, they just drove it until it completely went out, you know? <laughs> then we may be, what do they call it, up a creek? Without a paddle. Yeah. Okay, what about that check ball? It's the thought that counts. We ain't worried about that check ball. I didn't even mention it to Mr. Transmission, man. I thought, I know. The <laughs> check ball. <laughs> he had to come from somewhere. I looked for a longer extension, but I couldn't find one. I'm tightening these back down. These are half inch. We did some more research. A lot of what we're seeing says put five to possibly seven quarts of fluid in it. So we'll probably start with five and see how it goes. I don't want to overfill it because I'm pretty sure we had it overfilled. I don't remember how many we put in it in the last I think video, I but it was a bunch. about 10 quarts already. Yeah. But you smelling real good. Oh my uh, goodness. I did it again. Ew. Hey, sleeper dude hoodies are great for absorbing transmission fluid. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you that much. And that's like your least favorite smell, isn't it's it? It's awful. I hate it. Well, it, it's not as bad as your, your old. It's the right thing next to it. This says right here, stop, slip, cleans, lubricate, sticking valves and for proper shifting. Polymeric film renew worn bands to stop slipping. Does anybody know what that really means? No. Completely stops most seal leaks. A second ball may be necessary in larger or badly worn transmissions. Probably need a second ball. Probably gonna put two, two in there then, yeah. Mm. I'd say. Go yeah. grab another one. Mm. Look, I have to have two funnels to get this in here because the dipstick's so far back. There we go. See, you don't need those thrust washers when you got 90 weight transmission fluid in there. <laughs> She thick ass, like oh, funny. Man. That's like them girls at the Waffle House. That's thick. We're like 30 minutes into the first bottle here. It is so slow to get to go down the funnel. We got mom over there on the heater. Warming the next bottle up for us. Just trying to get it down the funnel. So slow. It would be nice if this dipstick pointed upward instead of like 90 degrees flat. So that's your number one cylinder here. So it's counterclockwise, correct? Yes. Alright, so what's the next one? Five? Yep. This should go to cylinder five. This guy right here. We're confirming our firing one because it's popping when we tried to start it. That's right. Okay, what's the next one supposed to be? Uh, four. Alright, this, this is the next one right here. Did it go to four? Yep. Yeah. Something wrong? I found it. Let's go into the third one back instead of the second. It's supposed to be second one back from the front and it's the third. Yeah, that one is about two, six instead of seven. So we just need to switch right, those. So what's the next one? That's all, Dad. That's all. This is one. Yep. <laughs> all right. So we have. It's it's like we have each switch. Switch. What? We got to review the footage. Who switched them? That was me. Was it you? Okay, we'll switch them back. Every time it came around, it'd go pop, pop, pop through the car. But I'm like, 
I don't know if that's not a firing order thing. Cause like, usually if it backfires through the car, it's just kind of random, you know? It's not like, like every time it came around, it would backfire through the car, backfire through the car. At least he owned up to it. I couldn't remember which side was which. I know, yeah, that's right. Cause he was on this side and Juan was on that side. Juan, you did it right. Ralphie, you did it wrong. It's hot, buddy. Yeah, that is oh, so good. Uh, I love go. it. We got some hot chocolate here to put in it. Maybe it'll come. Oh yeah, that's that runs better. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> You're welcome. You better ask off work the day you want to put a cord of this in there because it takes a while. Okay, well that's fixed. Hopefully. Okay. Well, maybe she'll start the laser now and not try to kill us <laughs> with a fireball. No fireballs today. I was wondering why it seemed like it was raining good. I was like, well, the timing must not be too far off. <laughs> that scared me so bad. <laughs> I was not prepared at all. <laughs> I definitely didn't do that on purpose. We're going to put a gallon in here on top of what we already put in. So that'll be six quarts. It should be right in the middle of what everything's saying. Hopefully that'll be enough to have it full. We don't have a dipstick, like I said, so... Well, we don't have the kind of dipstick we need to know what the fluid level is. What is that? Get it off. 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 Why are you? Stay why are you? Just, why you just, get it off now. We're not losing any fluid out the bottom, are we? It's not no, 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 we're good. I have never bought so much transmission fluid in my life between the last Ford truck and this van. I fill both of them up completely twice. I've got to fill that Ford truck up again as soon as I weld the pan back up. I'm topping off the radiator because it leaks pretty bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time. <sighs> you gonna go with us this time, Squeezel? Mm -hmm. Whoosh! Mm -hmm. get, it's in, get in the van, little kitties. <laughs> That's Where's what it my feels kitty? Like. Do, 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 do. Every horror starts. The creepy van. It's the creepy van. I don't think it starts like that. You watched it, Squeeze? <laughs> Got my feet sitting on a gas tank, so that's good. That's always a good one. <sighs> Alright, I'm probably gonna have to prime it with the fuel squeeze bottle here. I love how we're in it, like it's gonna work. It's 100% yeah, faith in that, so that's why. gonna work. Now I've got gas all over my hand. Okay. I'll just Plus. keep my hand out the window. It'll be fine. All right, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Hopefully it doesn't back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now the wipers mm -hmm. work. How'd that happen? Hey. I guess it works. I guess that helped, huh? Oh. Yeah. That's surprising. <laughs> Do you need this? Started right up, didn't it? Yeah. It's probably got the empty carburetor bowl. I was like guessing. Everything. Oh, wipers started working on their own again. They're turned off and they're working. We got the power. All right, here we go.
the shop at least. Oh, it just died. I actually checked my transmission temperature with my hand. It doesn't feel hot yet. I don't know why it died. Will it start right back up? It needs some more oil. Oh, wait. Well, we tried that last time. We put more fluid in and didn't do anything. <laughs> Is it going to do this to us? Is it not going to work? I mean, at least it got out of the shop. Should I try That's... one more quart? Yeah. They put six quarts in it. It said it might need seven. I'm going to try one more quart. Just put one more quart in it. It was close. Happen. It was really close. Well, it made it farther than it ever has. Oh, I haven't tried the brakes yet. I was really hoping it would pull better than that. It's doing slightly better. I feel though like once that fluid circulates a second and warms up a little bit, it might help it. No, Ellie. Okay. I ended up putting two more quarts in it. Of course. I mean, if a little bit's good, a lot's gotta be better, right? Yeah. So that's exactly. Eight quarts. If it ain't gonna pull off this, we're just out of options. You ready, Ellie? Well, where's the fuel? <laughs> Get out of my face. Fingers crossed. Here, will she sit in the seat by you, Ralph? Yeah. Here you go, Ellie. Okay. Come on, girl. Uh, now, you want to die on me. <laughs> Was was that? That? Is our ignition switch funny? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, what was that? That's smoky. Why are we doing that? I don't know. Guys, and drop her in gear. <laughs> She's so redneck. Shadowing clutches. Come back. It ain't got a clutch. We can it's automatic, automatic, Mom. <laughs> I think the choke might be an issue here. I think it's choking it. <laughs> what is that? She got scared. Mm -hmm. it smells like root beer. be where it stays for the next <laughs> <laughs> this may be a good parking spot for it right here oh uh, ellie's wondering why mom's not with us look she's watching mom here open it up so she can get to mom uh, you can go get her go get mom <laughs> <laughs> what happened what happened was he riding huh? <laughs> oh that smoke is coming off of like the engine that's not off the transmission she parked herself in the field, didn't she? <laughs> I felt bad doing that too, because I know that's just hurting internal transmission clutches, but they I think hurt. someone did that long before we yeah, did. Yeah, I think you're right. It made it farther than it did before. It did make it, it out of its effort. own tracks. It seemed like that thickness of fluid and stuff seemed to have helped 
on getting it to pull, but uh, the whole thing up for that. <laughs> just straight locust, but engine seems to run like a top, aside from dying, which I think we may have an ignition switch issue. It's like it's not trying to start, and then when you let off the key, it tries to fire. I've had cars yeah, do that we've before. Yeah, have done that before. Where like it's only getting 12 volts, like when you let off the key. The F-150 was doing something like that. Yeah. It went pretty good. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. It gave us all. I just wish that we would have got to drive it more. I guess now the big question is what to do with it. We all have different ideas. Because me, my idea has been pull the engine out of it and put it in a small car, of course. His idea has been like make it a tow rig. Mom's idea kind of goes along with mine. She's thinking make this like a house for Rocky and them yes. in the field. I mean, we could pull the engine. We got some cool projects. I feel like we should remodel it entirely and then put a new engine in. And then, yeah, like put white seats and stuff. And then you white can seats. It. I, I, I kind of like mom's the, idea. Take the engine out. Use this as a house for the goats. And we should put the engine in some... Something, something spicy. <laughs> and might let Squeeze paint on the side, like Rocky's. Oh, yeah, Squeeze could paint it. Rocky's stuff. home or Rocky's world or something yeah. like that. That might be a plan. This is what's incredible to me. Even after laying into it like that, the transmission's cold. I would have thought it got hot, you know, but it's not even hot right now. Who knows? Revving it at 5,000? <laughs> I don't think, I think we were probably at 3,000 there. I don't think it's 5,000. We should have put it to the floor. The engine seems to run like a top now that somebody switched the firing order back around. I was hey. scared that when you like pushed it to the floor that it would just like automatically stop and just go out like that. <laughs> I wish it would have just went. Hey, 460 in the F-150, huh? 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 <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, I go just for it. I can do this. Yeah. You always want your bottle opener on your foot. That's, that's a good place to get it. That's why, we, that's why we moved. We just cleaned this carpet. <laughs> Probably a predictable outcome here. I was really hoping that the transmission would come around, but if there's one thing I've learned, if you buy cars from a junkyard, there's a reason they were there. Yeah, yeah. and if there's pieces in the pan... Mm. <laughs> Sure Never get signed. I wonder how that even broke. If that just plastic got brittle and broke. I don't know. If you're a transmission wizard, let me know. Maybe it just <laughs> broke in half. I'll have to ask Dad, see what he knows about it. Transmission wizard. <laughs> hey, let's make sure I'm pouring out for our homies. Yep. Oh, right hey, it'll fix that rust. Yeah. Like, Pour it through this rust hole over here. Ooh, you're good right there. Which one? <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> you know, we'll figure out what we're going to do with this thing. We'll see if I get my way or if somebody talks me out of it. Eat your bourbon barbecue vineyards, you know. Drink your RC Colas. We ought to be sponsored by them, but we're not. So it is what it is, you know. We appreciate everybody that watches the channel. All the members, all the people that do super thanks. That really helps. You can check out our website at thesleeperdude.com. Was yeah. it the best fire merch in the business? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Best fire merch. But check out our new Rocky shirts on there. We really are excited about that. Yeah. We put a lot of work into designing it. I actually drew it out myself. We're really excited about that. We're trying to step our game up on our artwork and stuff. Hopefully we can get more designs like that coming. It's just a slow process when you're doing it all yourself. We don't have a staff except for what you're seeing right here. So oh. you can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on our third channel at Sleeper Dude Armed. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. We got to get back over there and get the other Falcons. I think we have three and a half more Falcons to go. Um, yeah, bro. Don't be greedy. We got trees to cut down and cars to flip yeah. over and half of cars to move. So that'll be exciting. Hey, tractor. We're going to be on the Galaxy Wagon real soon. We actually already have a floor pan here. We have some exciting news on the transmission stuff as well. We're waiting on two more parts for Waz car. And we're going to be doing a video on that. Whee! We'll just say Ralphie has done some trading and selling, and he may own a different vehicle now. He hasn't got rid of the Corvette, no, but he he may have a second vehicle now, and we're you're gonna see that soon in the video. We're gonna start working on that. <laughs> um, at some point, we may work on one of mine. You know, like maybe the Falcon. I want to get on the Falcon. I want to get on the Fairmont as well. I always think I'm gonna get them done, and it takes so much longer than I think. Things take time. We still have parts out that we hadn't got. Yep. At least we got this thing running better. We got it charging. 
We got it cleaned up to see what we got. It runs like a top. The worst part of the whole van is the floor pans, really. There's That's a little true. bit of rust in the quarters. It's not too bad. Well, now we know the engine works too, and if we need it for something else, we already know it does run. Exactly. So that's good. Who knows? Maybe the Pinto will get this thing one day. Oh, Lord. hey, hey, that's a good one. <laughs> well, the wind is whipping out there, but we're going to go see the animals real quick before we freeze to death. I'm sure it's cold where you live too, probably colder than here. Probably. But let's go see Murphy and Rocky and all the concubines. Woo! Well, there's Mr. Murphy and Rocky and Rocky Jr. and all the wives and concubines he is excited rocky i think if you'd have been in the van it would have drove probably they always think i have the food oh look at that i love how he piggybacks on granny i know she's the most anti-dog goat ever and he just thinks they're playing all the time there you go man it's so windy today isn't it Cold. Yeah, Murphy, you're the last one. Last one, Murphy. Oh, oh, you're gonna share it with Granny. That was sweet. Come on, Dad. Just gotta give the people what they want. Oh, that's there. You go. I swear he gets like a couple pounds heavier every day. Oh, look at he's playing with her now. <laughs> Granny. What? Is she gonna hear it? She's coming around the mountain. Where have you been? She is flying. Look how fast she's going. You are going so fast. You must have been out the road. Oh, no, no, not the phone. Oh. <laughs> She's out. Bite your fingers off. Hey, mommy, go pig. She hasn't met the new baby yet. I don't know if it's safe for her to meet the new baby. Look how windy it is, guys. It's blowing the trees around. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Her knees are getting weak. Huh? Oh. Man, you got her. She's got her winter coat. is so thick. It looks thick. She's got to be Pentecostal. <laughs> Tell them bye. Okay, she will. If you get a hold of something that you just can't hold on to, just let her go. Facts. Say bye! Say bye!